hi everyone welcome back to the channel in this video i'll be talking about how to run your uh, flutter application in both uh, android and ios if you do not have any other uh, devices like uh, ios uh, iphone and android phone a smaller one larger one you will also run your you will also able to run your application on tablets without having a physical one without installing emulator without installing simulator so for now uh, this is my uh, phone uh, mobile phone screen and as you can see i have run the application so for this i'm using a package device preview so for installing this package just go inside this pubspec yaml and type in here then pubget and all done and you will have to make little bit of changes inside your main dot dart function like this you will have to wrap this my app inside this device preview and you will have to import the package for this and for this i'll explain this a uh, little code after running the application now if you will run this application after connecting your device there will be a uh, bottom bar or bottom option will come like uh, you can choose your device from here for now i'm using android there are ios options available like iphone se iphone 13 iphone pro max ipad is also options available so for now i'm choosing ipad here now this is the ipad screen you will be able to check your features in ipad you do not have to need physical device physical ipad uh, like my app is running good in my device and i want to check whether it performs well in iphone se or not or any other small device let me check this select uh, iphone se when i am tapping here and this call button seems like everything works well so let me check on some other device also for android uh, let me check on android smaller device here the problem occurs so there is some text overflow issue which uh, i am configuring uh, without having a smaller device by using this and there are also several option Uh, suppose if you don't want uh, this uh, device preview feature you can disable it from here and uh, it also provide you several options like uh, orientation you can check your application in landscape mode and again on portrait and this feature will work only in debug mode as i am checking here for the boolean condition so if you will give the apk or any bundle file to google play console or your client then this bottom bar will not appear in that particular ap application because it will run only in debug mode and if you will generate apk and aab file you must uh, run generate that apk or ab file in release mode so this feature will only work on debug mode hope you like the video and uh, that's it for now hope to see you next time in the next video bye for now